Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, you will learn how to enter a general journal entry to decrease the value of an other current asset account. Let's use the example from the last lesson of the prepaid rent other current asset account into which five months of prepaid rent was placed. As you later incur your monthly rent expense of $1,000 per month over the next five months, you will use up part of the prepaid rent expense and enter each change to the value of that account either through a general journal entry window or by making an entry directly into the register for that account. So for each of the following five months, decrease the amount of the rent as it is actually incurred from the prepaid rent other current asset account and assign that value to the rent of the rent expense account. To enter a general journal entry, you can select Company from the menu bar and then choose the Make General Journal Entries command to open the general journal entry window. In this window, enter the date of the entry into the date field. Then enter a reference number for the entry into the entry number field. Then click into the first row under the account column and select the rent expense account. Then enter $1,000 into the adjacent debit column within that row to show the increase to the selected rent expense account. Then click into the account column in the next blank row and select the prepaid rent other current asset account. QuickBooks should automatically attribute $1,000 to the credit column decreasing its value. If not, click into the credit column and enter $1,000. When you are finished making the entry, click the Save and Close button. Alternately, you can create a general journal entry within the associated account register by simply recording the increase or decrease to the selected account's value. The advantage to this method is that you will not need to worry about the credit and debit rules for the account types as long as you know which account should be increasing or decreasing. So using the example above, another way to create this entry is to open the Chart of Accounts window by selecting Lists and Chart of Accounts from the menu bar. And within the Chart of Accounts window, you can then double-click the prepaid rent account shown in order to open its account register. Now within the Account Register window, you would click into the next blank Transaction row. Then enter the date of the transaction into the date field. Then enter a reference code into the reference field. Then click into the decrease column and enter 1000. You can then select the rent expense account from the account drop down within the transaction row. You would then click the record button at the bottom of the transaction window to record the transaction. Note that QuickBooks enters the term General Journal into the Type field so that you can see that this is simply another way to record a General Journal entry. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.